Yo, what up, what up? It's your boy Dope King and welcome to Dope King Divinity. This is a channel where we do intuitive messages, channel messages, car pulling and all that shit. <laughs> good evening. Hope everyone's having a good evening. My evening's going fucking fantastic. <laughs> uh, I hope everyone's day was good at work. Um, if you work today, excuse me. Um, if you damn work today, then I hope you got some inner child healing day. You know, did some meditation and got that shit out of the way. I damn sure got some. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> I do got one thing to say, bro. Uh, after I posted my last video, bro, the, uh, like, literally as soon as 3 o'clock hit, you know, those are what you're not going to ever get. Blah, 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 blah. Nigga, I'm talking about as soon as 3 hit, bro. It was the most vicious, like, thunder claps. Like, bro, I'm talking about it was sunny outside, everything, bro. Fucking vicious thunderclap. Boom, like, nigga, I can't explain it, bro. And it knocked the power out and some old shit, bro. And it got down. Uh, yeah, like, basically, it kept doing that for a while, bro. I just bust out laughing. I sent that energy back and shit. And then, goddamn, my power came back on. Fucking the sun started coming back out. Like, <laughs> I don't know what the fuck. I didn't know it was that big a damn deal. I'm gonna keep it a buck, bro. The truth is the truth, nigga. Niggas that mad, the truth coming out, bro. Um, it must mean I'm doing something right. So uh, here I am again. <laughs> Finna find out what I want you to know this evening, bro. Um, I do have, you know, sort of like a long weekend ahead. I'll try, I, I might post tomorrow when I get off or some shit like that, but um, we'll see how it goes. Or whatever the case, bro. Um, what was I about to say, nigga? Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Ancestors. Thank you, Spirit, God. <clears throat> thank you, Archangels. Thank you, Red Angels. Keeping the collective protected, bro. Um, letting, letting, man, please let these people know that they're just messing their own lives up, sending, conjuring up stuff and sending it to our chosen beings, our divine beings, bro. You can't attack something that, like, you can't, man, look, yo. Please send them healing, bro. Um, they definitely need some type of clarity in their life that can make them realize that this is not the way to go. Um, we know you're bringing the hammer down, but they're not receiving it too well, so. <laughs> Please just keep us protected, bro, so we can stay focused on our journey and what we got to get done, man. Please keep us illuminated, bro. That's about it. And then I say, let's fucking get it. Let's go, bro. Yeah, dog, like, somebody's mad. I mean, duh. Like, they're mad because we're picking up on all the shit that, you know, they're doing all that shit. It's a lot of uh, readers out here that was doing this shit for the wrong reasons, all that shit, bro. Probably not found my channel too. You know what I mean? But I was speaking on like, yeah, they go pay practitioners. They have to get, you know, more experienced ones, more powerful ones, bro. But it don't, it ain't gonna do shit, bro. Just know that, bro. It is what it is, bro. Um, they're trying to get this channel from being seen, bro. So if you do happen to find my channel, bro, and these messages fucking resonate with you, then please subscribe, bro, and like the videos um, so that more people can see them. I can promise you that even from my first bit of videos, you just may resonate with those or you're definitely going to if you resonate with the shit that's happening now. And you'll get more clarity on the situation. I used to go in on those videos or whatever about life and then get into it whatever the case bro but i ain't gonna hold y'all niggas too long let's get it bro <clears throat> spirit <laughs> what do you want the collector to know this evening man god damn we in this bitch it something flip nigga okay never mind Just not doing that like i just need people to know when you send these Deities, all this other funny shit. You're trying to conjure up shit and send it over here. Dark ass energy, bro. First of all, bro, everything goes through guys. So if the person's on their path, it's not going to work. Do you not understand, bro? Like, it's like they're delusional. They don't understand. Like, 
it's not even that they don't understand. It's like they don't want to see or believe that you are who you are, bro. And it's really sad, bro, because they go kill themselves doing this, bro. When they tried to send me, bro, I felt the energy when it first popped up, bro. Like, nigga, you real, you real live on some. You trying to, like, bro. And it's really sad because, like, in the case of it being a spiritual war, bro, we really just focused on ourselves, but we're in that war with nobody, bro. It's like peace versus evil. If you want to stop a channel that's trying to help people grow and see the betterment in themselves of what they should, you know, to better for life and the betterment of the world, period, and you're trying to stop that and kill that and stop that from being seen, bro, that... How does that sound, bro? I ain't even gonna go in on this shit. It is what it is, bro. You already know. You got a page of cups in the reverse. That's the overall, um, <clears throat> overall of this read, bro. The page of cups in the reverse. That's someone that's emotionally immature, very insecure. Uh, this is disappointment. This is someone that is demanding and exhausting to be around, bro. Telling you to restore emotional balance. So yeah, if your emotions are going different places, bro, if this is referring to the collective, because it really shouldn't, really, not really, bro. <laughs> but I'm just saying, because you know, I'm unbiased, all that other shit. Yeah, bro, goddamn. If you're feeling like um, you need, well, like I was saying, if it's feeling like you're unbalanced, all that other shit, bro, they're trying to fuck with the collective's energy that's just straight like that. You have to know your energy. That's why it's important to meditate. I'm in a constant state of meditation, bro. Like, you don't have to be in the dark, do all that shit, bro. It's really when you're doing your purpose, bro, you can focus better, bro. And you'll get downloads that way. Or just inner child healing, bro. Connecting to yourself and shit like that. But, um, yeah, bro. Um, you might be focused on restoring your emotional balance, and that's really good. Because um, if you're off, you can't make effective decisions and shit. And that's what they want to do. They want to throw us off shit but it is what it is bro um <clears throat> in another case yeah it could just be all the other shit i was just talking about i'm gonna clarify that shit someone that's um emotionally immature he's also gonna be around this could be multiple people bro you're gonna see bro clarify the page it comes from reverse spirit thank you so much man please give me plenty of precise messages for my collective bro let's get it um cancer price of scorpio energy could be no it doesn't have to be We got the star in the reverse Aquarius energy could be involved, doesn't have to be. And then you got the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse Capricorn to a Virgo energy. It could be involved, but it doesn't have to be. You feel me? Let's see, bro. <clears throat> star in the reverse is no hope, bro. So that clarifies like why a person would be disappointed, um, Insecure, feeling very insecure and shit like that. We'll see, bro. It's starting to reverse its faithlessness. This is discouragement, insecurity. So that's just clarifying some insecure ass shit right here, bro. Um, this is lost hope, feeling uninspired, dreary, dire. This tells you that not all is lost, bro. And you got a Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. And that represents dark magic, bro. In my book, bro, you know what time it is on this fucking channel, dog. This is um, someone that is jealous, unreliable, envious, lazy, bro, obsessive, bro. Uh, this represents work with no reward. Someone that is apathetic. Uh, this represents feeling motivated. What the? F um, mm -mm. Uh, this says don't neglect responsibilities. This represents no passion. It tells you to regain your momentum. All right, bro. So someone um, feels like there's no hope in the situation and shit like that. Um, this could have something to do with some dark magic or whatever, bro, but it doesn't have to be. You could be dealing with someone in the public eye. You could be in the public eye, bro. It, it doesn't really matter, to be honest. Um, but there's someone that's, like, obsessive. They're obsessively, I mean, obsessively watching you, bro. They're insecure as fuck, bro, and they're jealous of you, bro. Jealous of the star, and they did magic on the star, bro. A straight like that, to be honest, bro. They're disappointed because the magic ain't work, most likely, bro, if it is that um, but this is someone that's exhausting to be around, bro. They're emotionally immature as fuck, bro. Um, so we gonna, we gonna get into it, bro. Someone that's lazy, bro. And they're just not reliable, bro. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles in reverse.
We had the Knight of Wands in the upright. Aries Leo Sagittarius energy could be involved in this situation as well. Uh, someone could have a highly aspect in the chart in the situation. We're going to break it. We're going to see, bro. Uh, got the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. <laughs> we got the Nine of Swords in the upright. The Two of uh, Swords in the upright and the Five of Cups in the upright. All right. And this is clarifying the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. So, um, this could be clarifying why they're jealous or um, or what what dark magic they did, maybe fucking shit like that. Why they're obsessed or why they feel like they put in work with no reward because they're definitely disappointed. But whoever this is, is it's heavy, insecure ass energy off this shit. The King of Wands and the Upright that says a, a young man that's up to 25 years old, but they could just be immature in that aspect too. You feel me? I'm gonna keep it a buck. Um, Let's go. Uh, Knight of Wands. Yeah. This represents an important letter to go. Um, the Knight of Wands in the upright. This represents um, like a popular, playful, good hearted individual, bro. They're a reliable friend, bro. This represents action, adventure, fearlessness. This is a brave, impulsive, wild person, bro. Um, this tells you that decisive action is called for. This is a risk taker. Got the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. You know that's a missed opportunity and shit like that, bro. Um, this is a missed chance, a bad investment, something that's too good to be true, a failure to understand the risk. You got um, the fucking dinosaurs, bro. In the upright, this is fears and frustrations and letting go of emotions and shit. This could be a possible STD though. And this is nightmares, um, trauma, worry, guilt, anxiety, depression, illness. This is accident, bad luck, rock bottom, hopelessness, fear, dread and future events. This tells you to recenter yourself. So it's clarifying once again, um, saying that, you know, somebody needs to find, you know, emotional balance. I mean, this isn't about the collective for sure, but yeah. Um, someone in your energy, uh, you got a five of, well, no, I ain't do the two of swords. The two of swords now, right, is peace and harmony. This is needing to take the blindfold off. This is a uh, keep reassessing the situation at hand. But this also represents a stalemate. This is indecision, bro. This is failure to communicate. This is refusal of the truth. This is withdrawal, a breaking the relationship. This is deceit, um, difficult choices. And it says, be sure to have all the facts, bro, which you definitely should before you make decisions, but We'll see where it go. Um, five of cups in the upright. This is money losses. Tells you that not all is lost. And that's double confirmation with the star and this. So uh, whoever this is, bro, I mean, that's the truth of the situation. If you're looking at it from the big picture and shit like that, we go through things to learn lessons, bro. And um, whoever this is, is seeming to be learning some type of lesson. Um, the five of cups in the upright is death, bro. This is lost grief, despair. Jealousy, this is clarifying jealousy, bro. Uh, sadness, um, this is a depth of finances or, you know, actual depth is a self pity. Uh, someone that has experienced a setback, this is someone that is remorseful. So, uh, someone's feeling remorseful and all that shit because they missed an opportunity, most likely with you. Um, they're having nightmares about it and shit. Well, they don't necessarily even have to be having nightmares and shit, but they could, um, just like be guilty like feeling guilty bro um definitely in an anxious state bro uh anxiety is clarified bro they just in like a depressive ass state right now bro very anxious they feel like they miss an opportunity and shit so they want to do some shit um i clarified the knight of pentacles in reverse and i mean that's pretty much like obstacles being in your way and shit like that but um let me tap in real quick, bro. Like they cause a stalemate with a King of Wands or it's just a simple fact because the two of swords and the upright is failure to communicate and shit like that. Yup, and refusal of the truth. So they refuse the truth about, um, and the King of Wands energy could be someone else, bro. It could be, we can, we can see real quick, but basically, uh, 
either they're in the King of Wands or this is just saying about the important letter and shit. They missed an opportunity with you because they didn't like message you or they didn't communicate with you. They just didn't communicate with you. And um, they kept a blindfold on to the situation that was already, you know, that was there and shit like that. They needed to reassess the situation, but I don't feel like they did that. Instead, they were fearing a lot of shit. Yeah, bro. Just being insecure. They were insecure about themselves and they allowed their insecurities to basically fuck them up because they didn't feel adequate enough to make a move towards like basically you. Yeah. And um, now they're experiencing a lot of losses. Um, possibly in their finances as well. But they don't seem to have much hope in the situation anymore. And um, yeah, bro, they could be experiencing bouts of depression, bro. A lot of us are, you know, used to that energy as well, bro. It's not a good place to be, especially when it's because you allow, you allow your own inner conflicts and insecurities to make you miss out on something that would have made you feel, you know, really good. Uh, they could have experienced the death of some kind, though, to be honest, um, and their family or whatever, maybe, maybe not. Um, but yeah, clarify jealousy as well, bro. So person might be jealous and shit, you know what I mean? Uh, what's up, bro? What was this important letter, bro? Let's see that. I feel like I was just pretty much reaching out, though. Let's see, though. Clarify the Knight of Wands. Mm. And not will us go say that, but it is what it is. We got Pisces energy. Um, you got Pisces highly aspect in your chart somewhere, bro. It's the high priestess in the right or whatever. That's the current energy of the uh, King of Wands. So you could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but you don't have to be. Um, just basically like you're very intuitive bro um you listen to your intuition and shit you know hidden knowledge that other people don't really know bro um like you might know shit and don't even know how you know it bro it's just a god thing bro it's being connected bro it's being a pure hearted individual who god know he can trust you with that type of information and shit if he tell you not to say it then you won't do it or excuse me and i just said this last video about people who um, like y'all on tarot to think that you're getting the upper hand on somebody or whatever the case, bro. Like, how do you not understand that God can see your intentions, bro? The, the universe can, bro. And it has to balance itself out one way or another, bro. Whatever you do comes back to you, bro. It's just like that. That's all. Um, but I'm sorry. This is the uh, highest card in the tarot deck. You already know, bro. Um, this is a very powerful person, bro. This is good or bad secrets to be revealed. So yeah, um, you hold, like I said, like hidden knowledge, hidden secrets and shit. Um, a lot of things God may tell you not to put out there and there's nothing wrong with that, bro. Cause sometimes you just gotta, you gotta see things play out. Um, this is a person that usually stays to themselves because, or like if you, go in a room full of people, then you're like the one that's like kind of secluded, but you're just doing your thing, but you're always, you always got your antennas up type shit, bro. Um, <laughs> female, you already know. And the upright, this is a mysterious individual, bro. Very respected, bro. They're, they're very powerful. This is an intuitive, bro. This is someone that's unconscious uh, well, or dealing with the subconscious, all that shit, bro. This is someone that listens to their inner voice. They're very perceptive. They're never wrong, bro. Or at least they, they don't speak unless they know what the fuck they talking about, bro. Fuck you mean, bro. Um, this tells you to pay attention to your gut feelings. Um, and this tells you that more meets the eye, bro. To this individual, bro. And you definitely a spiritual person. I mean, it doesn't matter. You could be religious and shit like that, bro. But it's, it's all about the soul, bro. And how pure your soul is and what you are within who you are, bro. These are people that are blessings in disguise, bro. 
actually like the attributes are hidden by God, like on the surface they might seem like I know I look like I'm like I don't know what I know and all that other funny shit, bro. Like I've been going through that my whole life. That's why I don't be giving a fuck, bro. <laughs> you feel me? <clears throat> but it is what it is. That's why we got each other as far as the collective, bro. I'm at, I'm very glad I found Tarot, bro. I was already getting magic thrown to me before I found out. Me finding out is what actually kind of broke the spell. You you feel me? What the fuck? Or the multiple spells, bro. Um, yeah, bro. So they yeah they were being blind to shit to the shit. They were stalling and not communicating with you and shit. I guess to send a message to the high priestess and shit like that. Um, so take that as you may, but. The King of Wands energy is you, and um, that's that. You could be in King energy, but you could be male or female. It doesn't matter. Yeah. So clarify the Nine of Swords, because we know what the missed opportunity is. You moved on. You know what I mean? And a person is like they're still in the jealous energy, bro. It's like it's like soaking in. Uh, it was twenty one, twenty one, nigga. It, Whatever they're soaking about could have happened in 20, um, 21. <clears throat> but either way, that's 3-3, three, three, and that's misguided communication, bro. So, like, this person didn't tell you or the fuck or say anything, bro. They were just sitting there, just sitting there looking at you, bro. Whoever this is, bro. Clarify them down the source, please, bro. took some type of losses as well, bro. I mean, I could tell, I, shit, honestly, I could tell you why they got them in the Nine of Swords, but I'm gonna let the car speak, bro. <laughs> I mean, this is exactly, they're uh, afraid of rejection, bro. They don't wanna be rejected, bro, because they rejected you, that's why. Simple as that, bro. They feel like they missed opportunity because they rejected you and now they're having sleepless nights and shit. They're not feeling hot at all, naturally, bro. If you, like, that's the thing, bro. And I make sure I ask anybody who wants to burn a bridge with me to try to be fucking funny and shit like that, bro. Are you sure that's what you want to do? Like, you know what you're doing right now, bro. And it's not to be egotistical or nothing, bro. It's just how I speak, bro. And people be thinking I'm trying to be arrogant when I talk you know, anyway. So uh, once again, I don't fucking care, bro. Yeah, you know I mean, bro, it's me. It's when I started talking like this and being stern and me, like I always meant what I said, but when I started, you know what I mean? Giving off that energy, nigga, I mean, I mean what the fuck I'm saying, bro. Uh, that started, that standing in my, bro, my life, what the fuck, bro? People respect me, nigga. It is what it is, bro. And I earn that shit. It's not like I just walk in the, in the room um, you know, feeling entitled to the respect. No, nigga, I got the credentials to back it up, nigga. If I'm talking about some shit, nigga, I know what the fuck I'm talking about. And it's pretty, I'm, you know, for the collective, I'm sure it's the same for you too. And people think that they could play on that. They think that they could knock you off whatever high horse you, they think that you're on. You feel me? When it ain't even that, bro, you just experience life a lot. And when a motherfucker think that just because you be being nice to them and that you love them and that you're doing for them and being genuine, that they could just take advantage of that. They ain't even looking at the fact that it's real love. They looking at it like from their little immature ass mindset, like, oh yes, I could take advantage of this individual. And it's not to come at whoever this is, because like I said, we all got to learn lessons and shit and whatever, nigga. But it just shows your true colors and true character at the end of the day. And I will always say that, bro. Um, but someone's experiencing sleepless nights over the quote unquote missed opportunity and shit like that. Um, the four, the four cups in reverse. This represents emotional stability. This represents travel, change of home, sudden awareness, choose a happiness, acceptance, withdraw, isolation, struggle with disappointment. So, uh, they could be isolating themselves away from people and shit. They're trying to get their emotional stability back and that's clarifying, um, something up here. Once again, though, that's like three times, though. So this person's definitely going within and they're trying to uh, balance their emotions, maybe. But it, that, that could have just been you walking away. You could have moved. You could have left. You know what I mean? And um, they're thinking about that. They want to come towards you. They want to change 
their situation and change home. They probably want to move with you, but you could have just ended up doing that. You traveled away from the situation. You chose happiness, bro. You chose yourself. Like, who went and do that, though? What logical person went and do that, though? That's what I'm saying. Like, that's not, it's not fair. Do you feel me? But you traveled away from them and um, they feel like they were blinded to who you were and they lost out on an opportunity. And this is like just talking about money losses. So they could have invested in something else and missed out there as well, bro. But I honestly feel like they were, um, yeah, like they're just looking at it from like a stability and money aspect. They're not looking at it from the love part and shit. In reality, overall energy when a person is insecure and they're jealous as fuck, bro. And that's kind of just that, just to be honest with y'all, bro. Um, you feel me? And it's because they feel like you you will reject them if they did uh, try to come towards you and shit like that. Um, they refused your cup in the past for sure. And I mean, it is what it is. Like you accepted what happened, bro. Um, this does represent sudden awareness so they could be having some sudden awareness of who you are, but nah, I don't know about all that, but it's just struggling with disappointment, bro. They're very disappointed in themselves. Definitely feel like that. They're soaking, bro. Um, and I mean, it is what it is, bro. You do certain things and you gotta take responsibility for your actions in those points. Um, but yeah, they might feel like it's a death to the opportunity with you because they were stalling and they failed to communicate, bro. And I mean, that is the truth, my nigga. Like, don't feel that way, nigga. Know, know that shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know so much, my nigga. You know that, nigga. Like, not trying to be funny, not trying to come at nobody, bro. It's just what it is, bro. You can't play with people's lives like that, bro. People be having real life goals and real life dreams and then these people be like, nah, fuck that. Fuck what they talking about, bro. I could use this person because I know they work hard. I know they gonna get it out the mud, but I'm lazy. I'm gonna, you know what I mean? That's fucked up, bro. This person's obsessed with you. Like I said, bro, they probably did dark magic on you and shit to try to get you obsessed with them. And it, it made the hope going. Like you probably lost hope in this motherfucker period, bro. Especially once you found out or if you found out or not for everybody's situation, it's not that. But for a lot of y'all, hell fucking yeah, this person did that shit, bro. You don't know who they know, know they friends and shit like that, bro. You don't know what these people are into, bro. Straight up, especially if you dealing with somebody who's a different nationality from you, whatever, bro. You don't know what the fuck they family into, all that, bro. Let's keep it a whole beam, bro. <laughs> I've dealt with brujas before, bitch. Fuck wrong these niggas, bro. Um. Boy, all right, uh, what's up, bro? Yeah, so they rejected you and now they're feeling fucked up about it, bro, because they see you uh, moving on and shit like that. You walked away from the situation. Uh, you're not even thinking about them. They could feel that as far as the energy. They feel like they lost hope because they can't. They don't know what the fuck to do. Um, 28, 28, the cycle's complete, bitch. Um, not trying to be that way. Like, it wasn't supposed to be that way. Y'all know, bro. The fuck, nigga, I ain't about to apologize to nobody that, like, nah, bro, you go down my other videos, bro, fuck, I posted two uh, other ones in the, you know, past, like, day, like, go, go to those, bro, I'm doing this shit for y'all, bro, I just felt like, I mean, Spirit just called me to do more, bro, so I'm here doing that shit, bro, um, yeah, <laughs> is there anything else, let's go, bro, oh, wait, wait, I mean, we know what the missed opportunity is, but we ain't even finna get into that. Oh, uh, they could have lost. Hold up. <laughs> they could have experienced the death or some shit, though, bro. Honestly, bro. I mean, they just feel like they lost this shit because it's a death to the shit because they were. Um, I don't even feel like blinded, bro. They were acting blind. I just seen 2626. So that's, I mean, what what I say? No, nah, it was 29, 29, my bad. Uh, what's that, 11, 11, man, whatever, bro. Uh, <laughs> right, what's up, bro? They feel like you about to get a new person, I will say that, bro. I mean, they probably know that shit, bro. For a lot of y'all, this person knew that you were their person and they sat there fucking just stalling and shit. Why were they stalling? Let's, let's ask that, bro. Why were they stalling? 
for y'all to know. Why were they stalling, bro? It was a lot of things, bro. Or it is currently, but we'll see what's fair once y'all to know at the moment. <laughs> Why are they currently stalling? Spirit, please give me clear precise messages from my collective. Y'all, they 30 30, bro. It's misguided communication, bro. And they ain't. Bro, see, I don't wanna do all this. <laughs> Hold on, nigga. Bro. No, nah, I'm not. Nah, fuck that. Sorry. It's shit that fell on the floor. I feel like this is. I just feel like it's more important to take. We got the Emperor. And now, bro, we got the, okay. I mean, either way, with five cards, either way, it's change happening in the situation. But I won't finna take 10 on this shit. Hell nah, sorry. If it's meant to come back, y'all, it will, bro. But we got the Emperor and the right, bro. Aries energy. You could be an Aries, just could be dealing with an Aries, shit like that. Um, we got a 10 of Pentacles and the right. Bam. We got the five of Pentacles in the upright, boom. We got the four of Pentacles in the upright, boom. We got the fucking seven of Pentacles in the upright. I'm gonna tell y'all niggas something, bro. Cause like this shit is very fucking funny how niggas nothing but Pentacles, bro. This person is fucking, you feel me, bro? It's not, it ain't, they rejected your offer and all they worried about is the Pentacles, bro. Behind it is stability, bro. That's all they worried about, bro. <laughs> That's it, bro. I forgot what question I even asked for this shit, bro. I keep it so real with y'all. Hold on, dog. Um, nigga, what the hell? All right, bro, whatever, bro. The, this is Aries energy, like I said, bro. Um, the Emperor in the upright. This is stability, nigga. <laughs> or a stabilizing influence coming into your life, dog. Um, the Emperor in the upright. Boy, this shit hilarious. This is a father figure of sorts, bro. Uh, you could be a father or mother. You know, this is what nah, I mean, masculine energy, I guess, in this case, bro. But um, this is authority. This is structure, control, a calm, practical individual, level headed, an expert, a leader. They provide and uphold rules. They stay focused. You know what I mean? It tells you to get organized and practice self discipline, nigga. I'm fucking weak. All right, bro. Um, We got the fucking Ten of Pentacles. Bro, hold on. What did I ask, bro? Man, it don't matter. I'm going to just put it together and see what come out. Um, got the Ten of Pentacles in that right. It probably don't matter. That's what Spirit's saying, bro. It don't fucking matter. Uh, Ten of Pentacles in that right. Mm -hmm. This represents legacy, great wealth. This is family, inheritance of some kind, bro property you know what i mean this is a change in the finances for better bro this is culmination and enjoying what you built um and i was honestly feeling like they refused the truth about who you were there's that and the third boom they rejected your offer in the past boom i don't feel like it's a missed opportunity boom all right hold up bro excuse me let me find that dig in uh the seven of pentacles and all right that's work frustration this is hard work needing to be done either at work or a situation in life and shit um seven of pentacles and all right this represents reassessment what and more this is a turning point being materially well off of wanting to grow spiritually this is hard work perseverance diligence it tells you to plan carefully and keep the long fucking term goal in mind bro the four of pentacles and all right represents money improvements and com um, more coming your way period this represents for financial upswing bro this is motherfucking um, good advice, conservation, frugality, security, building solid foundations, and long-term stability. And then you got a five of pentacles and all right. This is delays around money and coming in from the code, bro. You got motherfucking um, loss, loss of possessions. That clarifies more loss, nigga. Uh, this is loss of possessions, job and money, needing help, destitution, difficult times, poverty, insecurity. Once again, bro, material scarcity and struggling with bills. All right, nigga, look, bro, because the way that I'm seeing this shit is like they misjudged you and shit, bro. Um, 
they missed the opportunity to build with you. You feel me? Uh, they felt like it was going to be too much work building an empire with you as that energy. Or just in general, they wanted to be an emperor or whatever the case, bro. Uh, and they were feeling insecure because you're already an empress type shit, if that makes any sense with that. And um, yeah, they just weren't really feeling like it was... Like they rejected your offer. I mean, they definitely misjudged you. That's what I'm saying. It was offer stability. Like they left you for some other shit that they thought was more stable and they were blinded to who you were in that case. But there's no more, you can't be blinded to the shit no more as far as who who knows what they know and all that shit. Who da 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 da. And that person already knew most of this shit already, bro. But they experienced money losses and now they need help. And that's why they're feeling this way and it could it, this could be an Aries that we're dealing with as well um or a fire sign you feel me uh this could be someone with the kid this could be a baby father of yours baby mother take it as you may this could be someone related to you it could be anybody bro but I mean this is just it could be multiple people and I think I said that as at the top multiple people that are envious jealous of you all that other funny shit could be an Aquarius involved bro could be an Aries involved so far that's what I'm seeing that um Pisces may be in this mix Whatever the case, bro, but um, yeah, they see that you have more coming your way in life and shit that you actually plant seeds and you were just waiting on your shit to grow as opposed to this person who just jumps from shit to shit, you know what I mean? As far as I'm concerned, like, look at this shit, though. If you flip it like this, it look like the person's giving the offer away from the start, you feel me? So they probably gave an offer away from the actual healing energy, the actual star and shit like that. But now they see who the true high priestess is, the real manifester energy and shit like that. Um, and in this case, it would be just more so like you got the Knight of Wands energy and shit like that. Um, you probably went from like, you know, as far as your manifesting skills, you ended up turning into an emperor in that regard, which is a balance of all the energies and shit like that. But this person wants to balance all the energy so they can match that and build a legacy with you and all the other shit. But they see that you're already working towards the legacy by your fucking self, bro. And you and you have more coming your way in that regard, bro, because you're following your path, bro. And this person is out in the cold. That's how they feel. And they feel like because you rejected, I mean, because they rejected you, you're going to reject them, basically. If they were to send, you know, come to you with a message and shit like that, basically. But, um, yeah, you know, I appreciate you already know shit like that. I mean, it is what it is, bro. Um, pretty much, we can... Hold up. I mean... Cause that shit, I wish I would've fucking remember what the fuck question I really asked and shit, but it is what it is. Um, what's the, uh, what's the current energy of the emperor? Let's see something real quick. Yeah, it could be an emperor in the reverse that they were dealing with. Uh, nah, fuck it. Uh, bro, I mean, cause is there anything else there? Cause that's what I'm saying, like what the fuck? Like, goddamn. <laughs> Two of Wands in the reverse. This represents malicious gossip. This is delays, uh, waiting, scared to change, comfort zone, bro. Making the wrong choice. This is obstacles to success. As I said, bro, bad planning, playing to say, um, someone being caught off guard, not prepared, stay focused. So yeah, bro, basically, bro. All right, nigga, this is, this is what I'm seeing, bro. So yeah, this person um, probably participated or had malicious gossip, you know, it was gossip being spread about you. I said to multiple people, nigga, um, they spread malicious gossip about you and it could have been this emperor, it could be an Aries in this mix somewhere that was spreading malicious gossip, bro, about what you were working on and shit. And, um, or they could have, you know, teamed up with somebody or whatever, but whatever, nigga. Um, yeah, they called the lay. They were waiting. Like I said in this last video, where they waiting on your ships to come in. They were watching you, like you were like a like an object, like a project or something, bro. Like that's crazy, right? But they gave the, they gave their offer to some something else. You feel me? And now they feel like they're at a loss because of that. Feel like they were. I, I mean, I already said that they were blinded to who you were, and what you actually were 
bring in as far as that. Um, they definitely wanted to play it safe and stay in their comfort zone and shit like that. They didn't want to grow at all, bro. Bottom of the deck, fuck it, bro. We 40 minutes in. Because, I mean, it's three cups in reverse, bro. This is like overindulgence and shit like that, bro. That's what I'm saying. They, you know what I mean? They bring your name down to the whole bunch of other funny ass shit, bro. Um, for whatever fucking reason that is, you know what I mean? This is overindulgence, gossip. This is clarifying, like, they were participating in gossip against you, bro. They were probably, like, talking shit about whatever you were doing, no matter what it is. Um, this is one night stands and shit like that, bro. Um, this is the end of an emotional cycle, being indecisive on love. Like, yeah, cause them to be indecisive on fucking with you or not, but they were just like, nah, fuck it. And started, you know, doing them, bro. They were just being disconnected. They disconnected from you. And uh, the subject to stay true to yourself, which they didn't do, bro. They were worried about what other people had to think. Uh, they listened to gossip around you and shit like that. And they went ahead and just, you know, you know, did what they wanted to do. I mean, it is what it is, bro. Move on with your life. But, uh, yeah. God to put a heart to that shit. They listened to a wicked motherfucker, bro. Or they were just being wicked, bro. Now Taurus is in here. So uh, they were celebrating with probably an Aries and a Taurus, bro. And I think I already said that shit before too. Um, or maybe these two people fell out in the cold from you, bro, because they were blinded to who you were and they did black magic on you. Or maybe it could be this Aries, which could be like, you know, a, a friend, a, well, you know, an old friend, a relative, um, if you still consider the motherfucker family for real or someone that you consider family, whatever the case, bro, because it's 10 of Pentacles. So that's a family car, bro. This could be regarding and inheritance or whatever, or just your legacy that you're building. This person's watching you build that, but they gave uh, um offer to someone else, bro. So it doesn't even have to be a romantic interest. I don't even think I said that, but 11-11, I did see that. So for some of y'all, yeah, it is talking about that. And for some of y'all, it's all of these people involved because I keep saying that it's people. Like, all these people are watching you and they're jealous because they all had chances to work with you. And they didn't do that. Instead, they decided to um, make you do it on your own and they were all going to try to just swoop in and I said it already, get it where they fit in type shit. Um, but you got to... Um, in this case, this is a tyrant individual. Like, take the message, like I said, for the collective is the reason why I said it, but this person's a tyrant, bro. They try to, like, trick people into, you know, being, like, they're, you know, like a dictator type of energy, bro. The person's not a real good person. They definitely could be an Aries Dawn. This person could be a Taurus that they work with as well, bro. They were celebrating and indulging with them. They probably had a one-night stand with these people. You know what I mean? Or just simply, like, these people, like they formed a plan together to have this person not talk to you or whatever, and they thought that was gonna break you down. But it ended up fucking it all up for all of them, bro. Whatever the fuck the plan was, it just not that's not what's popping, you feel me? Um <laughs> straight up, they're wicked as fuck, right? I got you. Um the higher fan in reverse. That's rebellion, subversiveness, a new approach, listen to your heart and shit. So yeah, and they it seemed like they want to take a new approach now. Um, but yeah, and they want to listen to their heart now type shit. But they probably dealt with these two people that don't have one night stands and shit. Or more, most of, they probably deal with more people, like as far as the romantic interest. <clears throat> Excuse me, but it's touching on more people now, bro. And then I'm picking up the doppelganger, you know, that karmic couple energy now there in their head as well. Yeah, they're in their head as well, bro. Um, it is what it is, bro. They got the six of swords and the upright. Um, this is a boat or over water travel trip. You know what I mean? Uh, they could have they could have had a threesome on a boat. They could have went on the trip together, bro. All of, all of them and did some sick shit on the trip, bro. You know what I mean? Um, they could all want to uh, bring things in calmer waters with you, though. Um, but for some of y'all, that shit happened, bro. I need to go flex, bro. Um, you got the fucking, oh, sorry. Let me see something. But yeah, this is hope moving on, travel, feeling mentally better. Yeah, like you're moving on from all of this shit, bro. You're leaving it behind, bro. Um, tired of worn off for the situation, relax. Yeah, like you're, you ain't dealing with this shit, bro. You just wanna relax with your life and shit. But these people could also feel like they want to do that, bro, but it ain't popping, bro. Um, it could have been your family period, though, that told this emperor, you know what I mean? The, um, if it's a romantic interest, shit like that, 
um, your family told them that you want shit and you ain't had no money and shit like that when you were really just building. And that's what an investment is. And probably you, you're very humble, so you don't flash a lot, nigga. You know what I mean? And yeah, that person just face value the fuck out. That shit, it is what it is. Um, this is frustrations. You are able to overcome um, your um, frustration. You're on top of the situation. You're definitely on top of the situation. This this is um like standing your ground and shit. Yeah, you know I mean, protecting what's yours and all that shit. Uh, this is being defensive, strong belief, standing up for yourself, business success, promotion, perseverance, maintaining control. You feel me? Protecting what's yours. People are envious. You know what I mean? Completion and rivalry. You know what I mean? So you got you got rivals and shit. Um, like I was just saying, this karmic couple and shit, or just in general, your family, they just envy you. And a lot of people you'll never know, like your family is rivaling against you, uh, rivaling against your life, jealous of your life and shit. So they do shit like that. They're a lot of whoever you date and try to turn them against you. And they probably didn't end up having a three thought. You, know, you never fucking know, bro. Especially if it depends on how long you knew the romantic interest for a lot of y'all, bro. Y'all didn't really get to really know this person because they were so secretive and all that funny shit. So it is what it is. Like at the end of the day, I feel like a lot of us, you know, a lot of y'all, a lot of us had to think about it like, bro, why the fuck are we tripping over somebody that in reality, do we even know this motherfucker, bro? Dead ass, bro. And obviously fucking not. You feel me? That person down sure ain't know you. These people ain't know you and you ain't know them. Simple as that, bro. Y'all won't never meant for the same realm. And as you grow, you outgrow people, bro. And that's what they didn't want to happen. But they left you out in the cold, bro. And they seen you get through all of that shit. And now you're standing your ground and stand, you know, you're defensive against these motherfuckers, bro. But they all want to come make amends with you. And it's fucking dead. Um, dead ass. Fucking, what's up, bro? This is relationship problems, arguments, separation, streams attached. This is stinginess, power, domination. That's what I'm saying. There, outstanding debt, others on you, unfair exchange. So yeah, bro, fucking with these people would have been an unfair exchange. And as far as the karma couple, bro, they owe you, bro. They stole from you, bro. You got a letter or news coming. Yeah, you know I mean, victory news, bro. You got a letter coming for these people. They stole from you, bro. You feel me? <laughs> Straight up, bro. But you got a letter coming in the victory, bro. You avoided the fuck out of a disaster, dealing with these people, Scorpio energy. I was waiting for that shit to come out, but the Scorpio could be involved in the situation. This is as simple as that, bro. Your family was involved in the shit. They turned this person against you and this person went right with it because they couldn't see who you were. And they snaked you with your family and shit like that. Um, and it was probably about an inheritance of sorts, bro. Um, the five of cups and outright was death, but that's just me, you know, looking at the broad situation. Now we got the king of swords in the reverse. Yeah, this person cut you off and shit. This person was it, is a liar. This person is selfish. You feel me? Uh, they, it, it could be Aquarius, Libra, Gemini involved, though. Masculine energy, so male or female, take it as you may. But just the whole situation in general. You feel me? Um, the king of swords in the reverse is buying self-serving individual. Very selfish. They're a liar, manipulative, um, cruel. This is weakness ruthless trickery egotistical person other unconcerned with others feelings yeah like they ain't give a fuck bro like if you thought the person give a fuck with this person ever come back to you like it hurt me more than it hurt you or whatever the fuck like it hurt me too no the fuck you didn't bro that person real live said fuck you bro <laughs> dead ass bro just take that shit how it is bro the person ain't had no heart bro um they know how to repress their feelings they're always thinking there's some sick ass dark shit in their head bro and they was they was trying to get you, bro. And this is um like being mentally manipulative. And I was already said saying that like their part in that plan to fuck you over was to hold back love from you, like to not communicate with you, but you know probably be in and out, boom boom, night on wise energy, bro. You feel me? Be in and out your life, bing 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 bing, and hit you up, say some shit like I love you. Like nigga, the one time this bitch did reach out during this whole shit, other than when I told you I was gonna leave that first time and then I didn't because the bitch finally had said something, whatever the case, but boom, right? Nigga, um, the only, the one time was after I had broke away from all these motherfuckers. I had already, I knew the plan. I had, had that dream that I told y'all about already, bro. And I was, I was, on, I was gone on their ass, nigga, bro. They were stalking me, trying to find me and shit. This was when I was still in the same state as these niggas. And goddamn, bro, one random day I'm at work, bro. This person called me twice, bro, and um, 
it was two voicemails that I ended up seeing when I went on my break and shit. And uh, one of them was just, it went straight through. The bitch was scared to talk. The bitch ain't say nothing. Then the second time, the whole thing went through again. And at the end, she was like, I love you. Bye. Like, bitch, bye. Like, what the fuck, bro? I ain't gonna lie. That shit, uh, Loki had me tight, bro. I was going through so much, bro. And I was still by myself, bro. And this was like, this was when my I was still getting snaked by other members of my family and shit. You know what I mean? And that shit, it was just hell of a lot, bro. And I, um, like, I just didn't understand why that person would do that or, you know, whatever, bro. But their family, their karmas, whatever the fuck. Plus, they were dealing with these people, bro, who do magic on people and shit. So they were fucked. <laughs> they were fucked from jump when they tried to, like, yeah, four swords in reverse. Once again, bro, this person could have an illness of some kind, bro. Or they probably lied about having an illness, my nigga. You avoided a disaster, though, because this person had an illness. Or it could have been an Aquarius Libra Gemini that they might have sent to you. Your family probably did that in the past, bro. Take it as you may. This could be a whole different person from this, um, from that person. Or just in general, bro, this person can have it in their chart. This could be, you know what I mean? Whatever the case, bro. Either way, you avoided the disaster because they tried to send somebody to you to sleep with you and give you an STD, bro. On, on, God, bro. That's, yeah, bro. That's exactly what's going on, bro. Your family, your family is going at all stops or have been at all stops because this could definitely be upcoming energy, bro. On, God, bro. So what the hell, nigga? These people are fucking retarded. The four of swords are reverses money, difficulty, small worries, broken promises, bro. Um, This is personal lows, problems, restlessness, feeling burned out, stress, and stagnancy. Yeah, bro. They probably broke hella promises to you. Your family definitely did that. Uh, they're experiencing money difficulties, though. Um, they're lying if they do come to you and say that they're stable and shit like that. They're only coming to you because they're experiencing these difficulties because they probably went all in. Like I said, they were overindulgent, probably living beyond the means of all these people because they thought they had whatever the fuck they had in the bag. But you got Libra energy, bro. Justice is getting served to you, bro, for whatever it is. This could be dealing with a legal situation. This could be a legal situation or document. This represents the police. So the police are coming to get these motherfuckers for whatever the fuck they tried to do or whatever they're doing currently. So for y'all for y'all motherfuckers that want to watch this shit, trying to get information, bro, just know, bro, you're either getting watched by the boys, bro, or y'all been watched by the boys and y'all done, bro. Like, people really be thinking, like, you snitching and shit. Like, bro, I don't got a snitch, bitch. That's why I just got the fuck away from y'all, bro. I know I know about the universe already, bro. You get yourself caught up. Like, the people that put you in these fake-ass legal situations, like, not, not even fake-ass, but you, you know what I mean? Shit that you don't even know about, bro. False statements, all that. That automatically puts you in the radar, bro. What the fuck is... Like, they incriminated themselves, nigga. Stupid people. They're dumb, bro. Anyways, bro. This is finding out the truth and um and the matter and the fact and the balance and shit. So yeah, bro, basically I guess that's you finding out the truth about this just stops the whole thing, bro. And you dump the cup out for all the people involved in the situation. With you finding out this, bro, it's a wrap. <laughs> Straight up, bro. They wanna reunite with you. They're all nostalgic and shit because you were a great person to these people. It is what it is. They're having childhood memories. This is people that you grew up with from your past. It could be your family. But it's dealing with that romantic interest as well. And they got that person fucked up too, bro. They fuck you know what I mean? Your family turned this person against you. And they yeah, bro. And their family was definitely involved too. But it ain't even a matter of, oh, I didn't see the truth about you. It did it, it, bitch. What the fuck? You got me for Like, bro, it's not a thing of not forgiving. You been forgave. That's how you were able to move on, bro. It's just like, it, it's a thing of it. You really wanted to believe that shit that you went that far, bro. And it shows your character that you did whatever the fuck you did. Just period, bro. Because it was all for a matter of some type of inheritance or anything like that. They were all waiting for your inheritance to drop. <laughs> to try to swoop in on you and try to... Hey, what's up? And shit like that, bro. Not the pentacles in reverse. They're not happy, bro. They ain't happy, nigga. If you know what I mean, they're just not happy, bro. This is like and enjoy. They're very smug about it, bro. This they're dissatisfied, bro. Tell you not to worry about the haters, and that's what they were doing, bro. 
because these people were hating on you and they knew that shit and they sat there and let people talk about you probably did not defend you whatsoever bro king of swords in the reverse if it was in the upright that would have been them defending you and, and defending your honor as a man should or shit a woman should all these fucking females be out here like i'm i'm a boss bitch I da -da 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 -da. but you can't take up with somebody who you know is right especially your significant other who you're supposed to be building in the future where you worried about a whole bunch of other people who you're not fucking ain't gonna marry well shit apparently they just might be fucking you feel me bro so just leave that shit where it's at bro dark magic boom i told you bro they did magic on you bro they dealt with a dark magician or they are a dark magician bro aries energy they're probably doing sex magic on you already we already been over this shit bro they the ones in reverse they did magic to stop you from moving forward and shit like that they didn't want you to move forward bro from them but they wanted to play fucking games though that's what i mean <laughs> The fuck? That ain't how shit work. This is working business problems from jealousy, bro. Like, they were all jealous of what you were working on, bro. That's what I'm saying, bro. Insecure-ass people, jealous of what you were working on. They did magic on you. They were sitting there watching. They were watching what you were building more than you fucking was. You feel me, bro? And they all misjudged you, bro. And that's what happens when you misjudge a motherfucker. But they thought doing dark magic to stop what the fuck you had going on and shit like that. This is block momentum, feeling stuck, stall progress. Yeah, bro, and I just was speaking on that. Like, they're trying to stall, stall the progress of this channel and my music channel, bro. Like, I'm, I'm chosen for this shit. I don't even know if it's like for this for however long I'm supposed to be doing tarot to keep it real with y'all niggas. But I'm here, nigga, and as long as I'm called to do that, I'm fucking doing that. And gotta make a way for everything that needs to be done, bro. So for y'all, bro, keep working on what the fuck you doing, bro, because that's what's nigga that's there you have a lot of people fucking watch you waiting for you to just stop and they're just doing hella magic bro not realizing that all they're doing is stalling their own progress that's why they fill out in the code and they're going to continue their cycle a, a cycle that they think that they're in with you when there ain't none of these people in nothing with you nigga fuck nigga you are the high priestess and you know everything about this shit anyway bro herman in reverse bro they want to come out of herman mode bro they didn't think you was gonna pop out this bitch. Yeah, they thought that magic was working to keep you stuck and shit like that, but you're not in the hermit no more, bro. You're actually showing your fucking life, showing people what you're about, showing people that you are a great person because the people were maliciously gossiping on you, bro. Straight up and the hyphen in reverse came out. Like I said, they probably lied to the legal system, tried to put you in the case and do all that together, bro. And then like, that's what I'm saying. Just keep working on yourself because when people try to do that, bro, it requires your energy as well, bro. Like they're literally beckoning on you snapping on them doing shit acting out of character and shit so that it can be in the fucking bag understand that bro just do you bro you got a virgo that was probably involved in the situation now you got a capricorn as well um the devil is right here hold on you got loneliness isolation lost away bro isolation doing more harm to good this is balance in life with interaction and thirst for social interaction yeah bro these people going to motherfucking jail bitch the justice is coming for what the fuck they tried to do bro they going to jail for trying to build a false case around you, bro. I already did that. I already, you know what I mean? Fuck, nigga. The devil. These people are the devil. They worship the devil. They tried to, matter of fact, like, it's just pretty much trying to, this is jealousy or trouble, bro. This tells you that you're able to break the chains that are binding you. They fell for temptation, bro. They probably tried to sacrifice you for fame and fortune, or they tried to, you know, like that in a way, bro. If they try to get you locked up, bro, that is a sacrifice, bro. They try to get you out of pictures so that they can use your shit. You know what I mean? That's that, bro. It's regarding intellectual pursuits, which is this, to be honest, but it was in the reverse or whatever, bro. But yeah, bro, they tried to keep attachments to you in whatever way that they could. And this person, like that romantic interest, if you want to fucking call it that, they did that in order to, um, like the way that they tried to do it was making you fall for them and then just fucking ghosting you, bro. And the reason why they ghosted you was uh, so that you just be on this thing of chasing them and you'll be working on life doing all this but they thought that you were doing it to bring it to them like no nigga hell fuck. what the fuck did you think like bro they were they got tripped by the devil bro all of them bro you got to love isn't that right a gemini could be involved once again bro like i'm literally calling it all out right now bro gemini energy bro this is love affairs bro um uh, this is marriage relationship relatives <laughs> i just said that bro it, your, your peoples bro Turn this person against you and shit like that. Um, this is a loving relationship you can share with the friends. So it, it, your friends could have been involved too, or their friends too, bro. Like, I mean, and you know, karmas are karmas, bro. Both families could have been involved in this whole shit, bro. I'm definitely feeling that energy, bro. 
It is what it is, but you got Gemini, Virgo, Capricorn, bro, Taurus, Aries. Um, that's what I see so far. Uh, yeah, bro, and Libra. But yeah, they just, that's who, you know what I mean? They probably were sleeping with multiple people. Those could have been people or just people that, you know, tricked them in general. I know what it is for my situation, bro. I've been new that I tried to let this motherfucker know and that motherfucker was acting blind, bro. What was that act, bro? Person is insecure as fuck. They were already insecure of you, bro. Like, you don't understand the power you hold, bro. You made people sh like quiver and shit like, that it's a double edged sword for someone like me because I love so much, bro. But people are so intimidated by me, bro. That's why I don't have friends and shit like that. Everybody think I'm trying to be better than a no, bitch. I'm giving it my all. How about you try, bitch? You know what I mean? A lover, bro. You think like I'm doing you dirty because I'm doing you so good? What the fuck is wrong with you? Know what I mean? But you're getting new love. That's how I see that, bro. Um, we got a queen of pentacles in reverse, so this could be your mother, bro. Definitely, uh, or their mother, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, energy, bro, a smothering on dick ass bitch. That could be who they're dealing with right now and shit like that. Uh, that could be a queen. I mean, sorry, not a queen, but I'm saying like a mother figure. So this could be a wife, baby mother, whoever that person that Rowan's interest is dealing with, or just in general, it could be your mother involved too. All these people stabbed you in the heart, but now they're all feeling heartbroken about this shit, bro. They all, but they stabbed you in the back. You feel me, bro? Um, the three of swords in reverse of recovery, forgiveness. They all want forgiveness, but you're moving on from it because you take care of yourself, but these people need to take care of themselves, bro. You're going to be able to travel after you get this news and all that shit because this shit was definitely probably traumatizing for you. And if you're going to, if you're getting an important letter of news and all that other funny shit, bro, I ain't going to lie to you, bro. That is true. And it's from a stabilizing figure. So I ain't even talk about that too much, but as far as a legal case, bro, yes, bro, you're going to get hit up and you're getting some type of compensation, bro. You're probably going to get the inheritance, whatever the fuck they were trying to do all this to take from you for, you're going to be able to travel. It's a very kingdom uh, that you are working on now. You're going to be able to continue to build it in peace though, bro. In peace, bro. I mean, you probably already found peace, dude. Like I already say that. I had a hurricane shit, bro. We move like that, bro. It don't matter, nigga. New levels, new devils, bitch. We always ready, bro. Even when it's a fucking fatal love attraction, nigga. <laughs> Hell no. Nah. Uh, you got leadership, exploration, a second chance of money. Yes, bro, you're going to be able to do that. And the love is in the up. What is another where you're getting a new fucking person, bro? We already talked about that, bro. You feel me? And that's beautiful, bro. You're getting a new person. If that was even the real flame. Uh, you got looking ahead, expansion, rapid growth, and creative cap collaboration. So yeah, bro, you're going to be able to focus on all of that and do all of that. But just be aware of people spying on you, jealous ass people, bro. Yeah, I mean, more Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy, bro. Um, this represents deception, manipulation, someone that's all taught. Yeah, they're going to come towards you acting like they want to fuck with you and build with you. And it could be any of these people, like I said, bro. So just don't trust none of these motherfuckers, bro. Straight up. Straight up, bro. Um, they're all taught, bro. And they overplay their abilities, very immature, self-interested, and they think they know it all. And as far as this uh, love interest, yeah, bro, they took shit at face value, thought they knew it all with the little bit of knowledge they had, bro. Even if you have a lot of knowledge, you should be, if you have a lot of knowledge, that should be an indication that you love to learn, right? So, yeah, bro. They didn't want to see life from a different perspective and they got them fucked up with these people because they ended up showing their true colors and tried to snake you for some fucking money held back from you in order to get shit from you to get you to chase them and you know take care of them type shit we already talked about this and as far as them other motherfuckers yeah they just tried to snake you for money bro and they tried to put you in a fake ass legal situation bro this person was involved in it probably definitely for sure um they could have had like some type of false marriage situation going on i ain't even speaking about that where they put an insurance policy on you might have had this person fake marry you, signed your name on documents and shit, and was uh, trying to get you off or some shit, bro, so that they can obtain something, bro. That's for some of y'all, bro. I ain't even go flex. Uh, yeah, but you got definitely right. Scorpio energy could be a Scorpio. This person um, is the person that's spying on you currently. Uh, this is death of a situation or endings and new beginnings and shit. As I said, bro, they tried to off your ass, bro. I ain't even go flex, bro. But um, yeah, bro. Just be aware of that. This is change, transformation, and all that other funny shit, bro. So, yeah, you transformed on that ass. They watched you transform. But they were spying and being jealous 
you transform and they stayed exactly the fucking same, bro. So yeah, that's what I'm saying. We will come back, bro. You ended the cycle with these motherfuckers, bro. <laughs> Got the eight of cups in the um, reverse. This is a tipping point. Avoid this fear of loss, fear of change, a hard choice. Yeah, bro. So person was fearing change. Um, they felt like it was a very hard choice to leave a toxic ass life versus a life of prosperity and becoming better. If, that, if that's a hard choice to you, baby girl, baby boy, you know what I mean? Stay your ass over there in karmic land, bro. Um, temperance and the reverse of Sagittarius could be involved in the situation, bro. But they took impulsive actions and shit. They weren't patient at all, bro. Like, like I said, bro, you were probably younger at the time, all that other funny shit, you weren't where you are right now, or you always been the person that you are, but at the moment you were not there because God was hiding your attributes and all these people thought they could, yeah, you know I mean, cabal, bro. Now your ass cabal back, bitch. Like it's y'all turn, bro. Everything you wish, all this fucking dark magic y'all did, trying to stop me, trying to kill me, bitch. It's your turn. We'll see how you like it, bitch. And you go and, and you, you just go keep doing more magic. Y'all niggas are not smart. Four of Wands and upright, bro. Happy home. You're going to build a happy home, bro. Uh, possible country setting, bro. It's probably this person probably took an impulsive action to move far fucking away from you or some stupid shit like that, bro. But I feel like I feel like you go just move away from the situation. You're like as you, whatever case. Uh, four of Wands and upright is go achieve reformation community home celebration. Yeah, this is dealing with the community, the whole community. They took impulsive action with the community that was snaking you. You got the Ten of Cups in reverse. This is a loveless family with your family that does not love you. They took <laughs> over oh, theirs too, bro. You got the Queen of Cups in reverse. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy, bro. This could be your mother that they work with, bro. Remember, bro, go to my other videos, bro. Shit funny as hell, bro. Now they're in debt. They feeling way down, bro. Inability to delegate. All of them, bro. Stupid ass niggas. This person did not travel towards you because they didn't have strength to do it, bro. They wanted to sit there and fucking stall. You know what I mean, bro? And collaborate with the others, bro. That's when they were collaborating with these people. They thought they were about to be a king of pentacles, nigga. But they were working with an evil ass bitch, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. That could have been their mother figure. That could have been someone else involved in this situation. Whatever the case, bro. They had illusions. They bit the apple. Whatever temptations, because the devil and the right came out. They were tempted away from you with these people. Um, probably in the case like, yeah, this person got an inheritance. If you work with us, you know what I mean? Get them all, we'll get you a big ass cut. That's that and the third. And they probably tried to make this person believe like once you got that money, you was just go lead them out in the code because they knew they were going to get left out in the code. Or they probably felt that way. Like you probably wouldn't have left nobody out in the code to be honest with you. But now they're all left out in the code and they all probably going to jail or they're all experiencing like just towers and dying like it's chaos, kind of chaos. You know what I mean? Page of Pentacles, this person wants to get you an offer, bro. I mean, whatever, you know what I mean? Page of Pentacles in the upright, that's ambition, desire, diligence, on um, the start of a journey, inspiration. You're starting a new journey, bro. Fuck you talking about. Uh, this is a student. This person's trying to learn from you and shit, but they're going to prison and shit. That's what I'm saying. They want to give you a small offer, but they were illusioned and shit, and some, someone or these people are going to jail. Could be this false empress. So they got a they got a little offer from a false empress energy that uh you know made them illusioned as well, which could be their mother figure, bro, or the wife, baby mother, whatever the case, bro. Simple as that. Or it could have been your mother that did it too, bro. And it turned them into a king of cups in reverse, bro. Definitely that. He's emotionally she or he is emotionally manipulative. All that shit and all the person cut you off and shit like that. The person wasn't thinking. It was a whole bunch of jealous energies that turned this person away from you and that person is now jealous of you too. It's just, you know, they suck this motherfucker to the dark side, bro. It is what it is. It's the facts, nigga. But you're getting new love, as I just said, bro, because you're not, you're not illuminated. I mean, you, you've you experienced illumination and everything. This is just peace of mind, bro. So you could already be in this new relationship or it's definitely coming soon. Leo energy in this bitch now. So the person who coming towards you could be a Leo. You could be a Leo. It doesn't really matter, bro. Either way, it's just love coming in this bitch. Um, they're juggling this shit. This could be dealing with a car or some shit, bro. We got cherry energy, so a cancer. And that was going to come out. This person's going to lie to you. Someone go travel to you. Because they're confusing money. They go travel to you and they go try to lie about experiencing bad karma. They're 
King of Wands in reverse here. Leo Sagittarius energy gonna try to come to you and lie. You got the Queen of Wands in reverse, bro. It's both of these motherfuckers. Two dark ass people that's working together, bro. Whether they be male or female, you got them coming towards you, bro, or whatever the case, bro. And honestly, no, they're bad karma. See, look, they didn't tell the truth, bro. The chariot could also be something to deal with, you know. Um, this is balance of polarities. This is victory over situation. No, you're having a victory over all of this shit. And these two main people that karma couple of jail for sure, they're both going to jail. They're both going to jail, bro. Um, they're not independent at all, bro. They were trying to get your shit, bro, and cause battles and shit. They probably going through arguments and shit like that. They tried to cause arguments and shit, and they tried to steal from you, bro. They tried to take your shit, bro, and leave you with no options at all, bro. Straight up, bro. Straight up, bro. You got who? I'm leaving it there, bro. I'm already here. Too long. But yes, that's what's going on, bro. Um, just be aware. Stay aware, bro. Uh, you got people coming towards you that want to snake you for what you got going on in your life and your pursuits and everything like that. But you should be used to that already, bro. Um, you're about to get justice, bro. I love y'all niggas so much. And I'll see y'all. If I don't see y'all tomorrow, bro, we'll just see, bro. I, I'll let y'all know. Um, if this message resonated with you, please like, share, subscribe. Uh, y'all enjoy the rest of y'all evening. Um, I love y'all niggas so much. Peace.